Uh, hello everyone, uh, just another Nature Walks video. Um, I'm being slightly quiet because there's a bird that I want to show you uh, that I don't want to flush. Um, it's not too far away, it's actually just in front of me over there, so I'm going to turn the screen around, but I'm, I'm in the churchyard today. This is the field that's just above the churchyard, and the bird I'm looking at is just feeding in the grass, and you're not going to be able to see it uh, with your naked eye through this video. So I'm going to have to use my binoculars. There's a bit of a trick I use occasionally just to help you get closer. So just bear with me while I line it up. But essentially, the bird we're looking at is there. You can just about see it going along. Now this is a green finch. And the reason I'm showing you this is because... Oh! It's just gone up into the tree. It's because it was just feeding on dandelion heads. And dandelions, uh, it's just gone off into that grass. It's just gone off into that verge. Now, dandelions are usually a plant that people would not want to see in their gardens. They sort of see it as a bit of a weed and a bit of a pain, but it has loads of really important benefits for wildlife. One, because it's really good for bees early on in the year, particularly the queen bumblebees love going to dandelion because it's one of the first that flowers. But after that, it goes into seed and lots of birds use the seed. I've already watched linnets this morning having a bit of a feed. I'm just going to see if I can find any in this meadow for you. I'll probably go out to where it was actually feeding because it's probably a pretty good sign there was some. Um, so yeah, so the linnets like to feed on the seeds, green finch, lots of these finches, gold finch is another classic one that likes to do it. So yeah, it's always good if you can not to chop them. Ah, here we go. Right, so I'm going to turn it around for you. So here you can see, this is that exact same dandelion that the green finch was pulling open. So they rip open these flower heads. Here's another one. So it's been torn open by the green finch and then they just eat the inside flowers that have essentially gone to seed and are providing a nice protein package for them. So there you go. So if you've got a field and it's full of dandelions, don't chop it. Allow it to go to flower, but also once it's gone into flower, leave it too because the seeds afterwards can provide a bit of a snack for hungry birds who are currently starting to lay eggs. Okay, bye.